Hello, I'm Lucas Merrill, and welcome to Storyline Online Summer Camp. Today, I'll be reading for you The Six Button Dragon by Matt Robinson and illustrated by Brumsick Brandon Jr. Once upon a time, a very long time ago, in the middle of the double dry desert, there stood a mountain so high that the clouds had to walk on a ladder just to get over it. And they called this mountain Mighty Mountain. Now, the way the story goes, no one was allowed to go near Mighty Mountain because right next to the mountain, in a red on red striped tent with wall to wall sand as hot as an oven cooking turkey, lived fire breathing brown, the six button dragon. He had great red eyes and fire shot out of his mouth like lightning bolts. And all around his scaly skin, he wore a sharp purple six button blazer. That's why they called him the six button dragon. Now, believe me, fire breathing brown, the six button dragon, would not let anybody near Mighty Mountain, because as far as he knew, that was his mountain. Now, one bright sunny day, little Luella, the loveliest little girl you ever did see, was crossing the double dry desert to take a pail of string beans to her cousin Clarice. Well. It was so hot on the desert that little Luella came to Mighty Mountain. She set down her string beans and sat in the shade of the mountain just to rest up and get herself together. But no sooner did she sit down than fire breathing brown the six foot dragon saw her and he roared out of his tent and smoke came out of his nose, and fire came out of his mouth, and he charged right towards little Luella. Poor little Luella was so scared that she dropped her pail of string beans and ran halfway up Mighty Mountain. But when she got to the middle of the mountain, that was as far as she could go. Now, Fire Breathing Brown, the six button dragon, couldn't climb up the mountain because he was too heavy. So he stayed down at the bottom and breathed those long, long streams of fire up at little Luella. And the fire was getting closer and closer to that poor little girl. Just then, who should appear at the top of the mountain, but one of the toughest little guys in the world. And his name was Short Stick Stokes. That's what everybody called him, Short Stick Stokes. He carried a short stick with him at all times, but he never used it unless a little girl was in trouble. And when he saw fire breathing brown, breathing fire at little Luella, Short Stick Stokes whipped out his short stick and started swinging down at the six button dragon. And when the six button dragon looked up and saw Short Stick Stokes swinging his short stick down, he started breathing fire up at him. Well, the problem was, that fire breathing brown, the six button dragon, was too far down to reach Short Stick Stokes, and Short Stick Stokes was too far up for his stick to reach the six button dragon. In the meantime, poor little Luella was stuck in the middle, and she didn't care who was up or who was down, as long as she didn't get burned by the fire or hit by the stick.
Then, all of a sudden, Short Stick Stokes had an idea. He climbed down the other side of Mighty Mountain and ran around the mountain till he came up behind the Six Button Dragon. He tied the pail of stream beans onto the dragon's tail. Then he took his short stick and whacked on that tail so hard. That fire-breathing brown, six-button dragon, jumped up and ran clean across the double dry desert with the string beans for Cousin Clarice. Then, Short Stick Soaks climbed up to the middle of the mountain, rescued little Luella, and took her up to the top of the mountain. There, they settled down, made a little garden, and raised string beans forever. The End I chose this book because Short Stick Stokes helps little Wella when she is in trouble and helpers are really important in the world right now. And thank you for watching Storyline Online. Make sure to check out all of our other stories and keep watching and keep reading.